Okay, for my five frame nooks, what I've done is I've got two end pieces, nine and three quarters, and seven and three quarters width. Um, and then what I've done is taken my table saw blade and I've cut a three eighths um, cut here. And then I set this at uh, five eighths and made this cut here uh, with the rail, the rip th uh, three eighths. This width is three eighths and I ran that up against the rail. Uh, if you had a dado blade, I think you can make this or a router. I bought a router, but it's only half inch, so it won't make this cut that deep. So my frames will sit on that. I've uh, taken and put some Craig, uh, I've used a Craig jig and drilled these holes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna mount a board on the side here, and I'm gonna use this side uh, to mount that board. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach the ends this way and um, and get those screwed in. Also, I'm using the Craig screws. These are the fine uh, th uh, thread and um, this is birch. If you set these upright, this makes a very strong joint. Uh, I recommend having a set of these, uh, this Craig jig on hand. I have the cheapest one that you can buy, I believe. And basically you just clamp this onto a flat surface and then you clamp your material in here. And then this sets the angle and you drill through and uh, you set your thickness of stock here you can raise and lower that and then they have the specialty bit and uh, you set the depth here and then it makes a nice hole so uh, it pulls your material up really nice okay so I got these this should be square uh, what I'm going to do is put the other side on all right this is a tight bond wood glue works good All right, so I got my glue on there. I'm just gonna stick these on. Uh, you could clamp them if you really wanted to. I'm not. I'm just gonna put some nails in it. It's not a, it's a little bit larger than what I got it. I um, actually made it for the top, but I'm going to use the same dimensions. If you wanted to get fancy, you could uh, definitely dado the outside edge where it would sit in here. Uh, I, like I said, I was trying to get these done in a hurry, and uh, they worked out pretty quick, and they worked pretty good. They're holding bees right now, so I guess that's good. Of course, I think the bees were looking for a place to go. So with me getting this uh, put up quickly, they found a place. Okay, so the hole, I don't know if this is right, uh, basically the hole in the swarm traps that I bought is about two inches and birds can get in there so I didn't want that um, hopefully this will be small enough and with the frames here you won't have bird birds coming in this is inch and five eighths um, oh, I'm sorry inch and three eighths right here hole uh, I just drilled that with my hole saw and I drilled it six inches from the top Lastly, what I did is I put a screw, a 3x3 three three board with a screw right here. So when it's time to move them, all I have to do is rotate this around. And that's going to keep them in. I can make the move. Alright, so lastly I need a board to hang it on a limb. And this, uh, what was it? Two and three quarters, but a two inch 
I would recommend about a two inch. That way you can get a decent sized limb and, um, and not give you any problems breaking or whatnot. Let's see if I can get this done. So half a 20 is 10, we'll put that in the middle. Five and a quarter, so what, two and five eighths? I'll just align the two center marks up. Come up to your branch, hook it on the branch, kind of make it uh, hang level, and you're all set. What I did on the other one seemed to work out is I just took this edge, kind of went center over that hole, and the screw is uh, center of the top, and just kind of line the bottom of the board with the top of the hole. Seemed to work out pretty good. Like that. Okay. Okay, so far as the finish that I've got, uh, it's called charring. I probably not, I probably am not charring it enough to actually get a good preservative coating. But, I don't know, this is plywood and that, that top layer, a couple of times when I got it too hot, it bubbled up. So, all I did is taking a propane torch and just work it back and forth. To see how quickly it goes. And it is getting an edge of char. And then on the ends, I'm going to try not to burn my table, but on the ends, I'm really getting a little bit heavier to try to seal that end up. It's a cool finish too. Uh, let me know if you've ever heard of this in the comments below. So my box is about done. Got my new bottle. Oh yeah. Alright. That's all done. And you can see it's charred. You know, I got I'm getting black on my hands. So. It is a charred finish. And this is the top. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the top off. 